Good morning. Hi. Now my hair looking geeked up. I haven't washed it in like two days, guys. Don't come for me. Anyways, hello and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I'm super hyper for a girl who just had her first two sips of caffeine for the day, but... By the way, trying the new Starbucks toasted vanilla shaken espresso. I don't know if I've ever said before in any other video, but the first original shaken espresso had me in a chokehold that I had to stop because I was having it almost every day, like scary. <laughs> um, so I had to cut back and I hardly go to Starbucks anymore because I have more of a matcha girl right now. But I really wanted to try this. I was saving it for a special occasion. And it's my treat for the day. It's Saturday. I'm so excited that it's actually really good, you guys. And I will say, I go specifically to the Starbucks near my house in the grocery store because they're so sweet. They know me by name because I probably because I went so many times for the shaken espresso. Um, and they always have made my drinks like really good. Like I've gone to other Starbucks's and I'm, you guys are probably like, who cares at me because you're never going to come here. But I'm just telling you, it's nice when you're a local at whatever coffee shop you go to. I feel they put extra effort. <laughs> And anyways, that is really good. That's definitely like a 4.7 or 8 out of 5. That was really good. Hello, guys. <laughs> so, yes, I'm wearing a face mask. Why not? It's Saturday night and we're staying in. That's lovely, isn't it? I don't know what I'm going to crack today. But, guys, I wanted to show you guys real quick the new cookie dough I bought and brownie batter and i want to tell you guys my honest review so i already opened this one earlier today the and uh, cosmic brownie one they're vegan and gluten-free and they all have like some extra little um ingredient like this one has reishi mushroom um but they're all like also sustainable i got this from watching sammy's video <laughs> um this one is so good you can either because they're vegan you can eat them raw or you can bake them into stuff but yeah, this one I tried already raw, so good. I think I'll just stick to eating this one raw. Um, I've tried this one raw already. And this one has, uh, I think elderberry and zinc as it's like extra health supplement. Um, it's I. I'm gonna bake them into cookies right now though. And then there is the birthday cake. Oh. I don't know if I said this is chocolate chip, but next we have birthday cake, which I have not tried and I will try right now live on camera. Mmm. That's not pretty good by itself as well. This still on the supplement is like ashwagandha extract. Yeah, this one is really good raw too. I recommend so far. These two raw, the birthday cake and the cosmic brownie, and we will see how the chocolate chip one does as cookies. that I'm trying is the Health Aid Kombucha and Strawberry Glow has biotin and bamboo extract. This is new. I like what that Target. Sorry, I'm like cooking a patty. <laughs> um, this is new. I saw it at Target the other day and I was like, oh, I love strawberry, but it's strawberry glow. It's actually really good. It's probably one of my new like new flavors now. <laughs> but I recommend. <laughs> I legitimately look like an egghead or like the Lord of the Rings guy, you know, with that ponytail, Orlando Bloom. Bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck? What? But it's fine. I just want to tell you guys my thoughts on the cookie. So I took a bite of the chocolate chip one. Um, actually really good. Way better baked, TBH. Um, it's a little bit like airy inside, but pretty good. I also decided to make like two of the birthday cake. 
also airy inside. Mm. Yeah. It's okay. I kind of like chocolate chip better, like baked. So, since this is <laughs> birthday cake and brownie, better as just eating it. Chocolate chip baked the cookies. If you just know you're that girl, yeah. You just have no choice but to be that girl. Guys, guess what? We are going to Venice. How fun is that? I've not been to Venice in like a really long time. And there's this coffee shop I've been wanting to try called Little Lunch. So I'm really excited. And then I think I'll just like make a day out of it. So yeah. Okay. Um. Anyways. Bye. If you don't drive with your sunroof open and around the beach, what are you doing? I think ever since, I was never a big like car person, like, oh, I had a dream car, but I knew that I wanted a sunroof in my car, no matter what car I had, especially since I live in California. And I love putting it down. Like literally, I, whenever the weather is so nice, I just automatically want to put it down. I recommend. <laughs> Okay, this came out of Whole Foods. You know I had to get that poppy. Sale still two for four. I wanna say that's all I really came for. Um, plus this hot sauce that I've been really into lately. Let me show you guys. I got this. Um, it just has very, very minimal ingredients. It's just the chili peppers, garlic, sea salt, and rice vinegar, so actually really like this one and I went to another Whole Foods the other day and they, they were sold out and I was also looking for like Primal Kitchen Buffalo sauce but this is the second Whole Foods I've gone to and they don't have it so I think I got it at Sprouts but yeah I literally came for like three poppies that sauce and like toothpaste <laughs> um but yeah so Venice is so cute I feel like if I had a reason to eat around here I probably would have stayed longer but like I haven't gone the nerve to eat by myself yet like just <laughs> So I was like, okay, we're just gonna try that next time. But having coffee was fun. I literally just walked around um, and sat a little bit like at their open area section and that was fun too. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go on my way home passing by at Trader Joe's because I feel like I definitely need Trader Joe's things. And I think I'm going to sushi later with my parents, but I'm not entirely sure, but okay. Talk to you guys later. Oh, I just realized that there was someone in the car right next to me, like, watching me talk to a camera, but okay. I came back on because I wanted to say that I got probably duped into buying a $30 this, okay. So I originally had this red one that I bought at Grand Central Market for, like, I want to say, like, 15, 20 bucks. And it doesn't have an adjustable, so I, I keep it on all the time because it's kind of really hard to put back on. So it did, the, the color did start fading, so I was kind of looking for a new one. And I found one at the Venice Street, like where they have all the little stores and stuff. He was on charge me 35. And I was like, mm, and he was like, okay, 30, 30. So I just felt bad for him, he was a cute little old man. So I was like, sure. <laughs> at least this one's adjustable though too. And he claims it won't tarnish in the water. So I was like, all right, dude. So <laughs> if I got ripped off, I got ripped off. Off, but at least I contributed to the economy All right guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video just with saying a little bit about my gut journey so far um, What I'm doing I haven't gone too much into detail, but this year I really decided to You know take care of my gut and figure out what's going on um, And the two tips that I have for today are of course and you probably heard it that's the time is get a good probiotic I'm saying this because I am trying a new probiotic and this video is about trying new things, <laughs> like random things. And I'm trying that really popular one, Seed. I've been on it for like a week now. Um, I don't 
see a viral difference. I used to be on, I think it was called the one that has Garden of Life or something, the women's one. And I used that one for like two years. And the first year or two, it was so good. After I just really honestly didn't notice that much of a difference if I took it or if I missed the day or not, you know. Um, so I really thought it was time to try a new one. And because I was having more stomach issues than usual. So um, I will probably give a full review once I've done this for at least a month. If, if I don't see anything extravagant, I might switch to this other one I recently heard of from a girl on TikTok. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm trying C. Fingers crossed, you know, it does something better for me. And another tip uh, that I just started this week doing is I'm actually starting to journal like everything I eat. And I know that sounds tedious, but it's actually been kind of fun. Um, especially since I got like a cute journal. <laughs> um, and I really just have literally put like what I have for breakfast and then how I felt after or like any reaction, you know. Um, like did I go straight to the bathroom after? Did I burp? Do I Did I get bloated? Um, all that stuff. I felt, did I feel fine? And it's really made me notice, honestly, like what foods have been honestly kind of a trigger. And so, you know, it's been really fun. It's something I recommend, especially if you feel like you're getting pretty bloated after eating, which is something that I've commonly dealt with for years now, um, rather being vegan or, you know, non-vegan. So I'm definitely trying to experiment with that. It's something I recommend. And I will get back to you guys also on this too. Like, you know, if I've discovered certain foods that do better for me or don't do as good for me and I've had to remove. Um, but yeah, so I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you go out and try new things. And if there's anything new you want to recommend or that you've tried recently and it's really been good for you, do not be afraid to comment down below. And again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!